gives you a sense of choice. It's reclaiming control on something that you may not really have control over, but let's talk about what you have control over manifesto. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody. I'm Sammy, a former professional movie watcher in Hollywood here to highlight the good and the bad of YouTube. Why? Because we all deserve better content here on YouTube. That is right. We, why? Because we pay for this content with our time and uh, they're throwing ads at us every second and uh, not on top of the ads. People are trying to sell us stuff on, in the videos. No one can just like give us value anymore. They have to, they have to chuck in an ad for something that they're hawking <laughs> on top of the ads that are playing as well in the video. Uh, so we all deserve better content. We, we deserve people putting in effort here. Uh, today we are talking about the channel Manifestel. I think her name is Estelle, I believe. Could be a stage name, could be a real name. I don't know. That's a catchy name though. Uh, this video is called How to Live in Abundance During a Recession? Uh, 11,000 views at the time of this recording. Uh, let me just uh, first say that uh, this channel is, is pretty new to the YouTube and she is absolutely destroying it. Her videos are getting huge numbers, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000. She has tapped into something. Uh, uh, she, she has manifested an audience, we'll say. <laughs> I don't know. She, her topics include, uh, you know, how to get the bag, I think is one of her catchphrases. She's got a lot of great catchphrases. She's a bestie and uh, Delulu, I think she says, and uh, uh, what else does she say? Uh, get the bag, right? We think we said that one. A uh, very, very talented, a very talented speaker. I think she's only 20 years old too. So she has got a bright future in my opinion. Uh, she is a talented speaker. She knows her audience. She knows she has really interesting topics, good takes, uh, seems business savvy, uh, knows how to make the money. Uh, so we're going to just, you know, help her improve. You know, she's still, she's still new. Uh, there was a missed opportunity. There was one of her biggest videos. I think has almost 300,000 views and she was talking on, uh, uh, you know, her I, iPhone little, uh, uh, microphone. Uh, if that video, if she was using a professional mic, like she is now in this video, uh, maybe that video could have been a million views, I think. Uh, but she is improving as she's going, you know, she was using the little iPhone uh, microphone. Now she's using a professional microphone. She also takes a lot of this content and repackages it as a podcast on Spotify. I saw, uh, but overall, uh, great, great presenter, great catchphrases. She uses some of the TikTok editing styles and infuses that into this YouTube long form, which is, which is good. Uh, it's always nice to see somebody using like a creativity, uh, in editing, to uh, and, and use like editing from a different platform and bring it into this platform in a seamless way. So she's got a lot of things working for her. In my opinion, she is, she is uh, very talented. Um, so we're just going to, going to go over one, one thing. If, if I was consulting, I would bring up a lot of things with her to help her improve quicker. Uh, but we're just going to talk about one, one thing that I'm going to just mention is I, even though she's in front of a white wall, we talk about the white wall all the time. I do appreciate that there's no green plant because <laughs> everybody puts the, puts the flipping green, green plant behind them for some reason. I don't know what the green, I don't know that I'm going to do a video later on the green plant. I don't know if it's a signal that you're in a secret, a YouTube secret society. If you have the green plant in the background, but uh, she doesn't. So I guess she's not in the YouTube secret society. Um, so we're going to talk about the microphone quickly. And I know she packages her content to, uh, to go on to Spotify's podcast. Good, good on her. Um, but, uh, you know, she, let's just kind of, uh, she has fun thumbnails too. She is such a good presenter. Oh, she's got this spoiled girly support group is her club that you can get a membership to. So that's, that's good. Um, and she talks about a lot of, you know, popular topics, reality TV and such. So she knows, she knows who she's talking to here. So she's such a good presenter um, that she doesn't need to hold on to this microphone. I think she's uh, kind of doing a disservice. So this is a performance performance uh, uh, lesson, everybody. So let's let's take a lesson in performance. She is such a good presenter. She is such a good speaker that when she's holding on to this microphone, she is uh, unintentionally kind of. Uh, um, 
uh, say, uh, limiting her performance, right? You know, if, if, if you have a microphone like this and you, your hands are moving, you can be more expressive, your shoulders are moving, you can have a little more kinetic energy. She seems like she has a lot of kinetic energy in, 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 inside of her. So if she was even standing up, you know, she'd be more authoritative and more uh, commanding. So I would suggest it. And it almost looks like she's holding the microphone is kind of like a security blanket. Like she's almost, I, and she, I know she is not nervous. I, I know she is a confident person, but when she's holding the microphone like this, she's giving off that, uh, that, that, that vibe we'll say, or that, that she's projecting that she's insecure by holding onto this microphone. Uh, it, it seems like a security blanket. So, uh, I would say stand up. Let's, let's see you use your body more when you're presenting, when you're, as you're speaking on stage, she likes, I think some of, she calls her videos classes. Um, if you watch a professor giving a speech or a, a lecture in a class, uh, they are not holding a microphone. They are using their body. They are, they are talking, they are presenting more. So I want to see her present more. And I think if she did that, she would, uh, command a, a, a bigger audience and look, she knows what she's doing. That, that, that is, that is, that is clear. So we just want to help her improve because, uh, she, I think she can go, she can go to the moon. I believe she is uh, very talented, more, more talented than I see a lot of people <laughs> in the same space. Uh, sometimes a lot of people are stiff and, uh, she's very, she's very blessed to have uh, this ability so young. Uh, so we want to help her improve, uh, and we want to help you improve too. So you know, study your old videos, see how, see how you are presenting, uh, see if you can, uh, enhance your presentation style by using some editing techniques like she does. She's like, I said, she uses the TikTok kind of edits and, uh, um, um, techniques, which I think is effective. Uh, if you like this content, uh, go check her out. I think she's, she, you know, she's an entertaining personality. I, I do, like I said, like her catchphrase, she goes, uh, hi besties. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, I would recommend, I, I would recommend you nickname your audience too. So she knows a lot about how to speak to people. So if you like, you know, if you want to learn how to get that bag as a woman or as a man, anybody, I guess, go check out her channel and, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, learn a, learn a thing or two from her teachers teaching over here. Uh, if you like my content, like and subscribe, share it with a content creator. If you are a content creator, you know, come here, take these, take these lessons, apply it to your own work. If you just like YouTube as a product, uh, use these uh, insights to help your content creators, uh, make better content as well. They, they deserve that you deserve for them to make you better content. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> Clearly I'm not as good of a speaker as, um, Estelle here. Uh, until next time, keep creating.